Hi, welcome back to the New Day One Show, episode number nine. Yeah, today we're going to have just a little conversation about drawing and uh, what that means to me and what it might be, uh, what it might mean for you if you do it or if you decide to take it up. Uh, if you've got like me excess time on your hand, you can see over here in this corner, I have purchased a, a, a really nice canvas to do an acrylic painting on. And maybe we'll do, we'll touch on that subject uh, one of these days as well. So uh, what I wanted to get right into was anybody can color. I mean, you just get yourself a basic set of uh, coloring pencils, right? I've got a couple trays here, so I've got plenty of colors to choose from. And uh, for my drawings, I actually like to uh, do the edges and the outlines with uh, ink pens. Uh, they're, they're just uh, various types of ink pens. It just allows me to have some contrast in my artwork. So I'm going to just show you a few pieces of work here uh, that I've done the last few years. This one's called Duck Times and uh, you can see there's not a lot of fancy uh, artwork in this one. Um, pretty straightforward colors especially on the, well I did do some shading on the shirt sleeve and uh, probably a little bit of shading on the jacket but uh, you can see down here I actually did not get around to finishing uh, coloring the shirt. But anyway, I, I, I got a lot of amusement out of doing it. Um, I, I think it's funny to just let stuff come out of your mind and just see what you can, you know, bring into the real world. Um, the next one is also comical to me. It's called Flying Smiles and it's self-evident as to why. Um, again, you don't see some real fancy work here. I just had some ideas about having these lips floating through the sky with those little cherub wings on them and doing various kinds of smiles. So I was trying to see what types of smiles I could uh, uh, draw. Like I said, I'm not the best artist here. And my mountains, you know, I did a little bit of highlight on the edge of the tree, uh, mostly just green, and you know, my stream doesn't look very real. Water's okay. Uh, but again, I just do this for my own enjoyment. I don't expect to necessarily make a living off my art. Um, the last one I want to show you is Life Forms. I did a whole series of these, three or four of these, and actually, if you go down to Freak Alley, um, one of my paintings in this series is, is down there on the wall, one of my first murals ever. Um, but again, these are all just coloring pencils and uh, ink pens, and that way I get a lot of contrast. Um, you know, I like the sharp, crisp edges that I can get with an ink pen uh, to bring out uh, stronger details. Uh, but anyway, that's that's it for the artwork um, and uh, now if you don't want to take up drawing or color coloring or, or painting that's fine um, but there has been a big surge in adult coloring books the last number of years because like classical music which by the way this is classical Thursday we're going to be doing a classical piece later um, uh, coloring is, is does not take my, uh, a lot of thought you're not uh, having to do any intellectual activity it's really just what looks pleasing to you. And then it's taking the time to try to do your very best to make it look good. So that would be an option as well, is to go, go down to Barnes & Noble or actually go online, order it, and pick it up at the curbside. Um, but um, so there's a little bit of inspiration for you. Um, I, I've had to bring drawing back into my life. You notice that I, I do my own signs for the show. Um, and again, I get a lot of enjoyment out of that. I find when I'm doing anything creative, I'm just a, generally a happier person. All right, that's it for our inspirational message. And now the classical piece I'm going to do for you is just a snippet of um, Romantic Ballad. We don't know who wrote this song, um, but uh, it's sure a pretty one. I hope you enjoy. <laughs>
thank you for joining me again today and see you tomorrow.